Hello, I'm at Super Judge, and I'm here with my beautiful wife, Gloria Judge. And we are so excited and blessed. Now, all through this month, today's the last day of the month. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. One month was not enough to talk about that 10 years journey. We had to cut so many things, you know. Yeah. There's a I mean, lot. There's a lot. And, and now, of course, we're rounding this off today. today. And also, let me announce this, that tonight, because we're entering into the next month, tomorrow is 1st of March. Yeah. So tonight, we're going to be having our prayer and fasting meeting. Yeah. So, you know, we call it 24 hours. Fast, fasting. yeah. So we start praying by 12 midnight, midnight tonight, and then we continue and we pray according, according to, to the, the watches. Watch. Yeah. So 12, 3, three 6, six nine, 9, 12, 12 3. Noon, you know, all through until the last watch, which is 9, 9 p.m. PM. Watch, and then we round off, and then yeah. we're going to be fasting throughout until we round off uh, at the last watch. watch. I, I, I encourage you to join us now. The information, the Zoom, Zoom link, link that we pray via Zoom. Yeah. So you need a Zoom um, app, app on your phone, yeah. and then you can join us. Uh, We've been having testimonies in this prayer meetings. And just join us tonight and, and let the Lord do marvelous things mm -hmm. for the month life. of yeah. March yeah. in your life. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Before going to today's broadcast, can we call for that? Day? Daily bread. Say, Father. Father. Join us now and release your faith. Say, Father. Father. I demand right now. I demand right now. My daily bread. My daily bread. It's coming to me it's now. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' in Jesus name. name. Amen. Amen. Praise, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. Now then, <clears throat> wow. What do we talk about today? Today's the last day. I mean, <laughs> you're trying to think of Holy Spirit. What do we? How do we round this off? Now? Should we appreciate everyone? Of course, been, we now, will. Now, now, now yeah. Two emails, two, yeah. Two, yeah. Two yeah. Two Very emails. important. You know, when you were talking about you, the last episode, we yeah. talked about um, how we deal with challenges. Do you offend me? Yeah. Do I offend you? You know, marriage is a process. Bonding is a process. For us, like that father-daughter relationship yeah. we had, yeah. then staff-boss relationship, yeah. and now husband, husband and wife, wife. relationship. Yeah. Process, patience, and things will happen to bring out truth yeah. the truth that you that you are standing on you don't just say i'm standing on truth and then when challenges come you run away from the truth yeah. mm -hmm. so there's discipline also yeah. you know i i just want to bring this in before we go further there's discipline as an individual for you to stay on the word on the word yeah it takes Be, a lot of discipline. yes being submitted to god is a lot of discipline and if you keep submitting, the better you get. As you learn, Jesus said, I think I should read this scripture. Okay. Matthew. Matthew 11 and verse 29. Now, listen to this. Take my yoke mm. upon you. Mm. I learn, I learn from, from me. me. Yeah. And then he says, For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your, for your soul. soul. Hallelujah. Now, when you take up yoke, the yoke itself is a burden mm. that you put. So, mm. how do you take on yoke and find rest? Mm. Mm. But Jesus said, If you want to find rest, rest. Because the next verse says, for my yoke is easy. And, and my, my body is, is light. light. Yeah. Now, I don't think anyone who wants to take up that yoke, who takes it up at first, mm. will say it's easy yeah. and it's light. Mm -hmm. But Jesus said it is. Mm -hmm. So, people who carry the yoke of Jesus, because mm. we have, now, we, 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 we live by faith. We're mm. ministers of the gospel. Mm. <laughs> so, we face challenges that we have to really exert our faith yeah and jesus said this thing is easy and the body is, is light. light is he saying the truth but then here's the secret 
he said learn from me yeah mm. <laughs> if i'm carrying something and you're looking at me and said ah, this thing must be heavy then you know look at my facial expression i'm smiling mm -hmm. and i'm carrying it mm -hmm. how come you're carrying that thing and you're, and you're smiling, smiling? Mm. now the smartest thing to do is to join is you. not to go and mm. go back by yourself and try to look the smartest <laughs> thing to do is to come say how mm. are you doing this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so jesus said learn from, from me me mm. How would you learn from him if you don't mm. have a relationship with, with him? him? Exactly. Even Jesus How would said. How you learn from? Him? Because see the mm. discipline we talk about. Mm. You know, sometimes people confuse these things. Mm. They say, "Look, you have to be disciplined," mm. and then they now think, "Okay, discipline, discipline. I will not do this. I, I will not do, do that. Mm. Not do that. Mm. You will fail. Mm. Mm. You will fail if that discipline is not ordered by, by the him. Lord. Yeah, yeah. So, so your number one step is to developing a real relationship, relationship with God. With him. Yeah. Now, a man who's married and lives his life anyhow, he goes out when he wants to go out, mm. comes back when he wants to come back. Mm. You automatically know that this man, the same thing with a, a woman, mm. this person hasn't realized that they are married yet uh -huh, uh -huh. responsibility now when you get uh -huh. imagine you have this circle of friends uh -huh. and then you you get married and you guys used to hang out together uh -huh. almost every day uh -huh. and then you do things and then you get married and then you're still hanging out with them and all that all you guys get that ah, i'm going home i'm going home uh -huh. no, you didn't get married uh -huh. you just put someone in the house uh -huh. But now, when you after you got married, and then you 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 still go and hang out with your friends, yeah. and the next is like, ah, guys, my wife is calling me. Uh -huh. You know, every small thing. You know, every uh -huh. small thing. Like, ah, I, I need to go home now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then everybody was like, uh, uh -huh. you're married. Something has changed. changed about you. Yeah, it's the same thing with the Lord. Uh -huh. So when you honor the Lord. Uh -huh. There are things he will begin to instruct you to, to do, do. Yeah. That even others will begin to, to take, see. Yeah. They will yeah. begin to take knowledge and, mm -hmm. and, and things. Cognizance of the changes that is going on in you. Yeah. You know, Jesus also said, what I, I, I do what I see my, my father, father do. do. So Jesus was learning from, from the him, father. Like, and he here he's telling us to, to learn, learn from, from him. him. Now, he won't tell us to learn from him if it's not possible for yes, us to learn. Yes, yes, yes. So even Jesus is submitted to he the submitted Father. submitted to the Father. Oh, he said, I, I mm -hmm. mean, no, it, mm -hmm. I read it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I read it yesterday. Mm -hmm. When we said, what I say. Yeah, it's and what I speak. What the, what the Father yeah. gives us. Yeah, is, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. So when there are challenging times, because sometimes these tests don't come when everything is palatable. No, you don't even <laughs> you know, I read it. Exactly. It's not pre-announced. I read somewhere that growth really takes place when challenges come. Of course it's true. Because when challenges come and you submit yourself you know, to this you know, process. Physically, now we have four children. Mm. And then we notice that there are times they, they, they fall ill. Yeah. And then we, we of course, we pray for them. Mm. We, we do everything we mm. need to do. Mm. And then after that period, we realize that they've grown. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we began to say that. Like, <laughs> Did you need to force it? Yes. To grow? <laughs> is it that that process of maybe they are, they are well, I know we're teasing it. We're talking about this recently. You're like, wait, hold on. Is it that wait, this stretching mm. of growth mm. is what is causing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, but that's the truth. Yeah. Growth comes with, with challenges. Challenges. Yeah. Yeah. And when so, you keep passing the test. Oh, that, you see, that's the important you thing. You grow. Please, you see, now, what's your up, utmost desire uh, in life? Uh, uh, it's not my, I, I won't say my utmost desire in life to be a good husband. Uh, uh, that's, that's a limited um, thought. Uh, I won't say my, my greatest uh, desire in life is to be a good preacher. No. Uh, my greatest desire in life is to please God. The one mm. who, who sends me. me. Yeah. Now, hey, and that's one secret. Mm. If a man's ways pleases the Lord, pleases the Lord mm. he, the Lord, will to cause, cause evil his, his enemies. enemies to be at peace with. And yeah. You know, I, I, I remember years ago, I thought of that scripture. I said, but I said, if he's going to cause his enemies, that his enemies are those who are angry, who mm -hmm. want to do mm -hmm. every mm -hmm. kind of evil mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. If God was going to cause his enemies to be at peace with him, mm -hmm. that means his wife is a walkover. <laughs> <laughs> 
his hus- the, the husband is a walkover. I, no, uh, I, you hus- understand what I'm saying? Yes. Because uh, that this this person already loves you. Mm-hmm. This person is not your enemy. You can I say something yeah. there? When challenges occur, yeah. do not forget that there was a love walk yeah. before this challenge yeah. came. Because this challenge is just to nip that love walk in the board. It's like so you're sometimes, driving. It's like you're mm-hmm. driving and something splash on the windscreen. Yeah. Do you pack the cancer? I'm not going again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You put on your wiper. Yeah. This is a challenge that I've come. Mm. Cleared it. Cleared from the way mm. so that we can see, see properly exactly. where we were going. Exactly. And then we come. You don't pack the car and say, oh, what kind of nonsense? Mm. I can something splash. I'm not like doing that. again. You know, mm. Mm. Can you imagine? Mm. What kind of windscreen do they make? Mm. But, yeah, no. Mm. Hey. Mm. Clouds, mm. we're going somewhere. Mm. So that's so when w- challenges come. Yeah, remember we're we're a couple. Yes, and we were going somewhere. somewhere. Now we've seen testimonies upon testimonies, especially coming out from challenges. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've mm-hmm. seen testimonies, mm-hmm. and te- if we start, if, I mean, sincerely, if we start telling you testimonies in details, you'll be jealous of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm serious. Mm. I'm not just jokingly saying this. Mm. It's the truth. Mm. If we tell the kind of testimonies we see on mm. a daily basis. Mm. Now, what is going to just expose? And that's sometimes people even say that. Is it that God loves you too, <laughs> as an extra too much? Mm. But not because we are special, mm. but because we have chosen to submit to, submit to him and honor, honor him, him in, in our every lives. Day. Yes. Yes. In everything. Mm, mm. That discipline. I remember one time we went, oh Lord, why is, why is the month ending today? I remember one time we went shopping and we, we got to the counter to pay and we realized that what we had taken was over the yeah. money we, we had, had on yeah, us. Yeah. So we had to drop something. So we started looking for what we would we'll drop mm. that will, mm. you know. Mm. You dropped <clears throat> Milo, I remember. Yeah, we dropped it, a sachet of, of Milo. Milo. The, the, yeah. the, it's a big mm. uh, the sachet of Milo that mm. we bought. Because mm. we looked at, okay, if we drop this, it's going to. So we dropped it. <laughs> and then we left that shop. shop. Yeah. Now we needed the Milo, mm. but I just like, you know what? So we, we had start, to prioritize yeah, we, at that exactly. time, yeah. So we left that mm. shop, mm. and then we went to see our spiritual mom before going home. Before going home, yeah. From the shop, mm. we went to her house because mm. I think they just came into town, yeah. That day, so mm. we went to her house to mm. say just to greet her, <laughs> and then we go home, mm. and then we we saw her greeted, mm. her, and she was mm. like, "Ah, we're going home." So mm. I said, "Oh, let me give you something for, for the, the children. children." And she went walked into her store and brought a tin, a whole tin of oh, milo. milo. And, and we started on, laughing. And then we looked at that. So, so like, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, how, how do you explain that? That might look like just a tin of Milo, but everything God does for us uh, is magnificent. We do not take his grace for granted. <laughs> and sometimes it's not because you cannot just run home and get that money and come and pay. Listen, the but favor of God, God follows you everywhere. Everywhere. You must understand. I, I felt yeah. God was telling us that day that I saw what happened at that count. Exactly. Relax. Exactly. It's a God of all comfort. Mm-hmm. 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 So we are never disadvantaged. Exactly. You must be confident mm-hmm. that God is your source, whether you are working or you're not working. Do not Please look at your salary as your source. If we begin to open share, yourself for the miracles of God, <laughs> open yourself for the miracles of God, and it and you know for God to keep working in your home. You have to allow love reign. You have to allow peace reign. You have over to allow children, God. Yes. Over. Now, of course, you know, when you start having children, mm. there, there's, there's so much to talk about. Well, I'm sure we'll see be doing broadcasts after now us, as yeah. the Lord leads us. When you have children, now, that's an addition to your space. Mm. And oh, children Things will change. Up, children will take over. Your life space. changes when children come. It's so you never have to the same. now grow. Because yeah. some, some people lose their family. Yes. They lost their marriage mm. because of their children. children. Mm. They don't realize it. Yeah. They think everything is still Fine. okay. But yeah. they realize this years later, later that yeah. this marriage is married. Separation, you know, it's gradually you're yeah. going apart. So you need all. to now baby Because everything is inside, is inside everything. everything. <laughs> oh, God is good. God now, has been good to us. We, 10 years, 
And we are so grateful to God. And I love you more. I do. Mm. Truly. <laughs> you're a, you know you keep saying you're a good man. <laughs> ah, of course you're, a you're, good woman. you're a good man. You're Thank good you for woman. loving me. You know when you said, I don't know if you wanted to say something, but I'm just um, cutting you short to say this. When you said on our wedding day that you were going to love me as much as Christ loves the church, I'm like, okay, that was a deep vow. It was... It was one of the things you said that stood out yeah, for me. Yeah, I like, remember we wrote our vows. Yes, we wrote our vows. Yes, yes. We didn't do all that thing. Copy and paste. Remember, no. We, we, cause, yeah. Because we, we had to look at every word. Yeah, in yeah. The actions of the you mm. mean mm -hmm. this thing. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. so I was like, this is a big I could commitment. Say that. I could mm. say that because that's the only love I have learned to, to give. Have yes, 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 give. yes. And that love has actually sanctified me, purified me. You know, the responsibility that God gives to husbands is to wash their wives. Yeah, yeah. And you cannot do that without being submitted to God. A lot of patience, a lot of discipline. Yeah. Because sometimes your wife can just say something that maybe she doesn't mean. But what would love do? Love will tolerate. Love will forgive. Because love you, is responsible. Yes, love is. You have to keep forgiving. You have to keep loving. You have to keep trusting when you feel like it or not. That place of personal relationship with God. Because personally too, if you upset me or you do something that I do not like, I don't even know how to put it to heart. Because I'm going to be praying to God. I'm going to be talking to God. I feel like I have I have experienced, I have um experience this sometimes especially when we just got married where maybe you do something and, I'm, and i carry my face i'm like i'm not going to talk to him how are you fine come here okay let's go out i'll just go we'll go we'll still be going oh but i'll just keep the straight face and all of that i discovered that it was me oh i was doing i was doing myself because i'll just when i look at this he's so at peace <laughs> you're so at peace and i'll be this I will lose my peace. I will not be happy. I will want to pray. And I will not not want to pray because I'm not happy with my husband. So I had to learn the discipline of putting my emotions aside, talking to God about it. He will now give me wisdom on, on how to talk about it without strife. It takes time. It takes process. Even when you, you... You grow mm -hmm. to the point where... Um, you, it's all submission. When yes, you're submitted yes, to God, yes. you will eventually, mm. no matter how stubborn you are towards mm. human beings, mm. when you are submitted to God, mm. He will now. Your start ways are pleasing Him. Him. He will now start turning you, turning mm -hmm. you. Now mm -hmm. realize that even you now realize that it's easy to be submitted to, to you, exactly. It's easy to be submitted to your wife. Mm. It's easy to be submitted to your husband. Mm. Because mm. the Bible says, submitting to one another, another. in love. Exactly. Mm. You understand? So, mm. now another thing that I know our time is almost up, but another thing, it's, it's, I know the Lord taught me this last year. Okay. Last year. There are some decisions we had to take, mm. and they were kind of expensive decisions. Yeah. I mean expensive decisions, mm. expensive financially. Mm. And they were, it was too heavy for me. Mm. And you were the one bringing up. This in yeah, that direction, yeah, you know? yeah. So I know I can't get angry with you. Mm. If it's wrong, I'll I'll need the Lord to dissolve mm. the whole thing. So I mm. went before the Lord. Mm. I said, Lord, see, see what my wife is doing. Mm. <laughs> and then the Lord said, But you can't do it. <sighs> <sighs> and then we we did it. Mm -hmm. We can't go into that details now, but mm. we did it. Mm. And mm. we did it without any God opened doors, mm. brought supplies. Exactly. And I, I and I look back and like we've if grown one had told me that you were gonna do that, that. we're gonna do this mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. but like, I went before the Lord, I said, Wow, how? And then the Lord asked me a question. Did you marry a dull woman? Mm. I said, No. Then he said, Then you have to believe in the wisdom of the woman that, that you married. married and then also you have to believe that there are things i will trust her to say mm. that i will not say to you exactly so when she speaks mm. listen to her as mm. much as you even listen to, to me exactly mm. 
That is love. <laughs> Loving me as Christ loves the church. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh my goodness. It's a lot. It's a lot. God has been super faithful. In this 10 years, mm. God have... There are lots of people God have brought into our lives. There are lots of people God have used to bless us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As spiritual parents. Mm -hmm. Wonderful friends mm -hmm. that... Now, family, covenant mm -hmm. relationships, mm -hmm. and because we are deliberate people and we 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 love intensely, mm -hmm. so not just that we love ourselves, mm -hmm. anybody that comes into, into our we space. love intense, yeah, yeah, and and because the same principle of love, we love them as Jesus loves, loves them. them, yeah. So that leads you to covenant relationships. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Uh -huh. And there are several people God have brought. And, and the truth about this is God will use people uh -huh. to always teach you, yeah. make you grow. Uh -huh. So people will come into your life. Uh -huh. They will do things. Uh -huh. You will get upset uh -huh. with the same principle. Uh -huh. I run through him. Yeah. I learn from, from him. him. And I apply it after learning. So our job, we keep loving and loving and then we learn uh, and then we grow we, there are people who have blessed us financially there in wisdom with their own wisdom. With wisdom there are people who have blessed us by their attitude you know we learn every day by their tenacity in faith we learn everything yeah so these 10 years we appreciate mm, everyone, everyone everyone who's in our life mm. because it will start mentioning names <laughs> now <laughs> and when your mind is stayed on god yeah. he will bring these people he will bring people because sometimes the work is not just on by yourself. You will learn from people that have gone ahead of you. You learn. You will learn from people on be, behind you and people that are on the same level with yeah. you. Even from children, you are just open to learn because your mind is stayed Stay. on God. So wisdom and understanding will come, and you will be smart and sensitive to keep picking it. And you know, having people. A good, um, they, they call it a good um, oh. support system. Yeah. Having people who you can always talk to, mm. it's very important. Very important, very key. <laughs> you can't just have a life, just you and your wife. Mm. Yeah. Now, it's not, I'm not saying, now, and the truth about it, you know, sometimes they don't take your family issues mm. outside. Mm. But then the question is, what do you call family, family issues? issues. We learn every day. Uh -huh. So I don't have to come and tell that I'm having family issues. Uh -uh. But I can have a discussion with someone and uh -huh. I learn from the person. Yes. I go back home and I apply it. That's what I was talking mm -hmm. about. Because your mind is stayed on God. Yeah. Some conversations that is not even related to your home will make sense to you. Maybe there's something that you need to learn from there. You will now take it back and apply. And apply a it. message. It may not even be from your pastor. You can hear a message from another pastor and it's just there's something in there that would you you know when i talked about earlier how that sometimes i don't talk too much is because somehow god has helped me get wisdom from so many places it could be a book god will just lead you into a store and you pick up a book and you read it and the book will have so many contents that you go and apply at home you go somewhere maybe you're just sitting down people are having a conversation you're not part of the conversation but they have their voice is kind of loud like loud you pick something wisdom is everywhere because god is everywhere so he will give you what you need part time and as your mind is stayed on him peace he said i will never leave you nor forsake you never forsake you it doesn't matter where you are in life it doesn't matter the challenge you're facing Jesus. right now. Wisdom. Life, he is there. Mm. Mm. It's not when you shout to him, he will mm. come. Mm. He is there. So oh you know God. what? Look for him. him. Talk he to will him. come with wisdom. Mm. He will come with understanding. Yeah. And that's what will solve the issue. Every problem. That's how we walk. He uh -huh. is always uh -huh. there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So our job is to look for him. Uh -huh. When we pray, we're looking for him. Exactly. When we step out, we're looking, looking for, for him. him. When you're and talking. Because we're looking for him, uh -huh. the moment he shows up. You will know. Yeah, you will know. Because you're talking to somebody and suddenly, uh, uh, uh -huh. I 
heard you. Mm -hmm. I heard you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then also when he's prompting you to actually really address issues, please do not hesitate. When he will lead you to several people, do not hesitate. It's better so, there is than no, there is no, piling up the issue. There is no greater joy mm. than being given a life that is led by, by the, the Spirit, Spirit of God. Sometimes you just like, get up, go and see Susan so Exactly. Sometimes you just like, go and just. Because sometimes in marriages, most of us have this habit of. Uh, sh I, I, I'm trying to protect my spouse. I'm, <clears throat> no. Now, if, we, I know we're around, you know. Yeah. But I just need to say this. Okay. I remember we prayed this prayer before we go, or I think about the time we got married. Okay. Now, it was a prayer I prayed many years ago. Okay. And that prayer is, Lord. Give us righteous friends. Yeah. <laughs> I prayed that prayer too as a single person. <laughs> Choose my friends I for me. That was how I said couple. mine. Yeah. It's important every mm. couple mm. deliberately mm. pray that prayer and mm. mean it with their hearts. Because mm. mm. our time is up. <laughs> wow. Can what we just can 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 we just specifically say thank you for some to some people? Like mommy and because daddy Curry. One, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot I cannot just end without saying thank you to mommy and daddy Curry yeah. for being a part of our success story. Yeah. The acousis. Yeah. You know, the the uh, they are a lot of that's what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start making sure it will be like three or one whole week. <laughs> oh, my former, my 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 boss at work. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> so, so that's why. Like, they know what. Oh my goodness. They know themselves. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's friends, friends and loved ones, that's family, our parents, yeah. siblings. My goodness, everything has know. built us up. We are like this today because of so many, you know, processes. <laughs> Go ahead, my love. Father. Thank you. Now, if this this broadcast has been a blessing to you, we would like to hear from you. Yeah. And if you want to contact us, mm. feel free to contact us. Mm. If you want counseling, we are yeah. available to help you. Mm. The whole purpose of this broadcast is to mm. help you yes. stand. Yes, yes. So if you still have questions, mm. that, contact mm. us mm. and we'll be there to hold your mm. hand, to stand with, with you in, faith. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, mm. take these words and bring healing. Amen. Restoration. Those that want God. restoration, mm. we speak restoration Amen. Now. Amen. In every Every way, whatever you desire mm. from me, the same God that have helped us mm. these ten years, and we are not lying about it. Yes, let Him help you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, Amen. let Him mm. help Amen. you. Amen. Amen. We pray that you will share your own testimony yes. like we have done. Yes. Amen. Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 We love you so much. Very much. God bless you. Until another time where the Lord will inspire us to do this. But don't keep watching the daily broadcast. Mm. Don't stop watching. And, and yeah. let me tell you the truth. Mm. We're going to be having the uh, broadcast together. Mm. We mean, not just that we're talking about marriage. marriage yeah. The Lord will just help us. God mm. bless you. Bye. Bye. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll see you tonight. <laughs> All right.